screen in Discord. We did today. <laughs> so like we slipped it in just in the nick of time. So that's officially done. And if you look in um, community now, you'll see Twitter feed, which is uh, which is cool. So now we have a Twitter feed on our uh, Discord. That's great. Thank you for doing that. I was really by. All right, cool. So let's get started. Um, Here's something I noticed today. <laughs> I looked at our sprint button and I was like, wow, everything's exactly where we left it during our sprint planning. <laughs> Isn't that neat? <laughs> I mean, some things were closed, <laughs> but I was like, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> I guess we're not using that anymore. <laughs> so I actually want to make a push this sprint and I'm going to put it on myself to just be like, Hey, this, can you update this? Can you update that? Can you update this? But I'm also going to ask us stewards to, to make an effort to update the issues that, um, yeah, just to keep things updated. I guess I want to say one other thing is that I've noticed that there's conversations and coordination things happening in DMs or on Discord. And I, I just want to say two things that I've noticed about that. One is that when we are commun like coordinating in Discord, we lock out everyone else in the community. So we don't open up the conversation, the discussion, the troubleshooting to anyone who wants to participate in our community. It makes that very private. So we don't benefit from actually our whole community. And then the second thing is that it ends up interrupting people's priorities. Uh, so this happens with Vi, you know, everyone's like, hey, can you do this? Hey, can you do that? Hey, can you do this? And then when we looked at his, the, the Zen Hub board, all of those, hey, can you do this is, you know, never made it to the board, but it's like they got done because somebody asked him directly. So I'm sort of like counseled him to be like, yeah, yeah, I'm definitely going to do it. I'm just going to make an issue so that I don't forget it. But this is like I've committed to doing these things and or this is this is a more priority. So I, I guess what I want to say is like the interruptions shouldn't supersede priority of what's already on people's plates. And I think that happens. I mean, I think that happens with everyone, but it definitely happens with Vi because we always like, hey, Vi, can you can you just make this? All right, cool. So, um, yeah, that's just the thing I wanted to add. Hey, Cherry. Hey, Tim, I wanted to ask you about Hubs. The, ep the epics. I just wanted to ask you a question about the epics because yeah, um, sure. I feel like that is um, kind of a, a problem with the epics is that you have this long list and maybe not every task is articulated and things get done in that list and either they don't get updated or they're not even present in there. Um, do you think epics are beneficial or should we kind of just say let's do individual tasks? I think they're super useful. Okay. I mean, I think that they can be refined to be more useful, mm -hmm. but here's a great example, right? Like the, the funding proposals. This way we can just see all of the funding proposals, right? Versus searching for a funding proposal and trying to find the issue related to it. So they, I think they're super useful for certain things, but maybe mm -hmm. there's a bunch of epics in here that we could probably get rid of or update. Yeah. Any other thoughts or how we can how we can use the sprint board better? I think just making it more accessible. I don't know if people just don't know how to use it or afraid to use it or um, does everybody have access to to using it? Like, I, I just want to. Yeah, it's open for everyone to comment in. Um, I don't know. I think anyone can open an issue as well. I think um, anyone who opens an issue doesn't necessarily have the rights to assign someone to it but anyone is able to open an issue themselves. So, I mean, you know, they don't have to be part of any group to do that. Okay, so maybe that's something, yeah, cool. So maybe that's something I'm gonna focus on when, when we get to the could do betters. Um, welcome Chewy, hi Griff, hi Lauren. Um, okay, cool. All right, so should we get started? Uh, I'm going to set a timer for uh, maybe five minutes and we can share and celebrate all the things that went well. And uh, yeah, time started.
Cool. Cool. Okay. And uh, uh, Livia, do you feel like reading our what we can? I mean, uh, what what went wells for everyone? Yes. Parand param debate rescheduled Twitter sync. New people were finally finding their place. Onboarding has improved so much. Communitas is achieving incredible things in the DAO space. External param parties, financial sustainability and compensation discussions. The engagement from the Graviton training was amazing. Very satisfied that both funding proposals made it to the forum. The lively discussion and the stewards call about the stewards working group funding proposal is great show of the diversity of opinion and conviction in our working group. Cool test on the pull-up distribution. Zen Hub transparency. Thanks, Tim, for pushing it. Bitcoin DAO inviting gravity for a conflict res collaboration. SoftGov Ostrom reflection was awesome. Working group funding proposal looks great. Love seeing the diversity of parameters for the commons upgrade 
go and vote for laser tag. Feedback from the TEC presentation and the research program was of how tangible the cultural build benefits are to long-term success of a project. Communitas deployed the first phase of onboarding experience improvements. Meet in Colombia and live in Costa Rica really makes all feel like a big family. Ending the second Graviton training. Nate getting involved in the audit casino. <laughs> Discord features are out of this world. Gravity training, what a ride. Today we'll talk to the Colombian community about the TC. A bunch of stewards hanging out in Colombia. SoftGov call was a powerful monitoring experience. Thanks, Livy. First quadratic ring choice ever. Congratulations to all our new Gravitons. Mitch coming to Barranquilla. Ivy's return. Twitter, Twitter crew is on top. Rockstars. Eduardo's guide for how to guide, which we will use to onboard more guides. Griff's birthday. Yay. Carunitas is rocking it. So many new people in every call. The configuration dashboard is probably the coolest thing since sliced bread. Events on this board is pretty great. So much better than the SESH for your information solution where we were trialing. Param parties are really fun. Param parties are epic. Should we add more time? Plus one, param debates should last longer. Proposals are being wide and different params choices. All right, awesome. So I feel like um, we have a really important tradition in the TEC and in common staff to do this really embarrassing thing for people when it's their birthday. So I wonder if everyone wouldn't mind doing that really horrible happy birthday disjointed live on Discord. But first, turn on your cameras! <laughs> so Griff can see who's singing to him so badly. <laughs> yes, I was waiting for this moment. All right, so will you kick <laughs> us off, Olivia? <laughs> Why me? Happy birthday Come around, eh, Griff? Yeah, no kidding. We're really getting the hang of this. Yeah, I, I'm part of too many communities. Cool. Well, um, birthday boy, why don't you kick us off? Yeah, well, I, um, sorry. I think this is a great sprint. There was a lot of good things happening. Uh, obviously, param parties are what I get to see the most of, and I, 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 I think that it's just so good we need more. Uh, and I, I think that it might be worth our time to extend it either two days or even a week. Uh, gravity training's over, I think, right? So that's super cool. Uh, and you know, to have pram parties and graviton training at the same time is just really shows the diversity of our of our crew. I think I said that last round too. Uh, and yeah, vacation is nice. Uh, hot spring and good times. So uh, I'm I'm pretty excited about that. Also, I think it's just super cool, like. We need to find out if quadratic ring choice voting has ever been used before, because if this might be the first time ever, and I think it would be really cool that could, we could get some notoriety with that. And I'll pass it to Mitch, who also had some vacation. Sorry, having a problem with my buttons. Um, yeah, vacation was sweet. What can I say? Um, it's been really nice. Um, and yeah, so I was like absent for half the sprint, but, um, I can say that the param parties have been really exciting to see all the different ideas coming out of them. And I'm really stoked on how the reward system is starting to come together and take form. And I think there's a lot of people outside of the TEC that are coming in here just to see what kind of reward system that we're building and like they want to help build it too. So that's been one of my highlights for me is like how we're starting to attract more and more uh, external interest from these products that we're building. Uh, and I'll pass it to Nate. Yeah, thanks, Vince. 
Um, gravity, graviton training. Like, what a program! I mean, what a hit it was. It's it's pretty awesome, and I can't wait to see what how it evolves into the next cohort and and what comes of it. Um, the params are awesome. The dashboard is awesome. The Discord is awesome. I think we're really building a lot of really cool things. It's weird because. It's like we've we've talked about doing these things for a long time, and now they're starting to take shape, and it's it's really just it's fascinating to watch. So, um, just congratulations to everybody on their on their hard work. Um, and I'll pass it to Zepti. Thanks, Mitch. Yeah, uh, casino. <laughs> I'm so happy like people start to love the casino. It's it's good. Uh, I'm enjoying like, yeah, as Mitch was saying, and Kareem, like the debate, like there is a lot of diversity, there is a lot of cool proposals, and I think like, you know, we can go with any of them, you know, like most of them, and we would do like great things, and you know, they're different, but you know, they have also different strategies, and it makes it so interesting, yeah, and, and, and yeah, we're having like new, like these Discord upgrades, and it's going great, and Nate joining the... The audit, I think, is going to be very cool, like, with all your thoughts. It's going to be, like, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Uh, yeah, I'll pass it to Lauren. Thanks, Epi. Mm, for me, well, I think really the, I, I really like the external parent parties that we've been doing. And also just the fact that we're getting so many new people coming into the TUC because of parent parties, just like, Almost every program party, I'm like, who are you? I've never seen you before. What brought you here? It's And it's really great. I think that the people are really excited about the dashboard. And there's also like a lot of like people just like wanting to use it for their communities. I just did another external program party with somebody who was like, when are you going to have a white label of this dashboard and interested in like the whole process? And I love that we have all this documentation on the forum. So program parties and external program parties and the fact that it's bringing people in a lot. It's like really the, the highlight of things for me. Also, I'm really excited that Mitch and Mateo and Wonka are going to be like sharing about the TUC and the common stack and, and giveth and, and Barranquilla today. I'm, I'm super stoked about that. Mm, I'll pass it to Chewy. Thank you, Lauren. Uh, Graviton training was definitely a huge milestone for uh, the whole TEC. Um, and everything has been blending in so well. Like I'm, I'm super happy that uh, comes contributors are like able to now find like their place, and and uh, it's it's just easier for new people to uh, come up with initiatives that can provide value to the community. And not not a uh, not a lot of time ago, that was like a, still a challenge that uh, we were all figuring out. Uh, and yeah, that's that's what really really made me. Uh, happy uh this this uh, last print um i'll pass it to griff oh no sorry i'll uh, pass it to Livy. thanks um yeah it was really cool yesterday i had a call with alp from gitcoin and i think juan is gonna talk to him today too about how we can integrate gitcoin uh thinking about conflict resolution and the work that we've been doing with gravity and it feels like there's a lot of interest around there and just joining forces and um, yeah, improving all our processes. So it's really cool. I think that Graviton training probably brought attention to that too. And just all of the talks and the engagement of the people were super beautiful to see. And yeah, I've been having really great feedback from the TC too and the research program, just people like very mind blown with our culture and understanding how that really has like tangible effects on how we've been managing everything for over a year and and how a lot of the issues that many communities have could be uh solved with culture and um uh, yeah the params parties i really i really wish there was more parties already i i'm sad that we are already in the debate phase and i'm I'm down to um, put more time to it if everybody agrees to. I'll pass to Tim. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll go. Um, yeah, I think it. I think it was a really great sprint. I mean, there's exciting things happening everywhere. I feel like some of the big things that felt really insurmountable to me just got got resolved. So that felt really nice, those proposals. And I love that we had such a 
great debate about it yesterday. And then Nate and Wonka and I spent another hour, you know, continuing to talk about it, which was great. And then Zeptimus and Vi jumped on at the hour after that. And then we used to continue to talk about it. So I think it just, I was really impressed with like the conviction in our community, like people share their opinions and don't back down. And it's really, really, really important to have those, uh, you know, contrary opinions and, and not, uh, live in an echo chamber. And then also um, just such diversity of opinion, you know, people, people's experiences are so different. So they, everyone brings a really different point of view. And I really, really, something I really appreciate. Uh, Communitas also did, um, they, you know, there was this uh, project to, um, to change the onboarding experience and the first phase of it was deployed yesterday. So that felt really good too. And then last sprints, um, the last issue of the last action, the action from the last sprints retrospective to add the Twitter feed to Discord got done today, almost by accident actually. Uh, so now we like we can check that box off. Uh, and I'll pass to Juanca. Thanks, Tam. Um, yeah, uh, I also felt uh, this was a really good sprint. Um, we are today going on chapter number nine of nonviolent communication, and I have really loved this NBC book club. I I think like that this is really great. I also liked the 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 end of the graviton training. I am a little bit um, like nervous about the complexity that now we are going to face, like having more people um, and um, yeah um like making our, our our organization managing funds but i think that's that's cool and i am really happy that mitch is here in barranquilla we've had a lot of fun we have eaten really good and and yeah um that's that's my my the good things of my sprint awesome and uh now we're gonna do the things that could do better Cool. All right. So uh, I'm going to set a timer to five minutes again and uh, see you then.
Okay, cool. And um, Chewy, how do you feel about reading the What We Could Do Better? Sure, Tom. Um, I have really bad allergies, so sorry if I stopped like for some seconds to sneeze or something. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, maybe not enough time for program proposals. Uh, we need more discussion around boardroom and multi six for working groups. Uh, need more strong program proposals. Uh, I don't have a favorite proposal yet. I am not sure which one I will vote for, even with a vote in a few days. More consistent program party attendance. It's been really hard to talk to the snapshot team. Uh, both Pedro and I are having trouble. Anyone knows uh, devs there? Improve calendar integration on Discord. Uh, management permission for stewards is necessary. Number six and number seven are the same on Snapshot. Uh, next Graviton training. Uh, invite more expert external hosts. Uh, documentation organization could use a boost. Uh, label more things in forum. Take a look uh, at what is outdated. Uh, focus on debate week. Establish a communication uh, framework for voting. Uh, monitor workloads and prevent stewards from burnout. Uh, make SendHub more approachable. Introduce new contributors to SendHub. Uh, use more SendHub. Establish uh, traditions around voting, plus one. Improve, tra Im improve transparency uh, about the TEC relationship with the XI community. Ideas for bounty boards uh, for all working groups. Uh, low activity on the forum this print. Maybe it's not a big deal, but it was noticeable. I'm double booked to most param uh, events and still feel I'm prepared to host a debate in another community. So many things that uh, work and so many things that are worked on and don't make it uh, to sprint planning. Param's proposals should be better and more diverse. Not enough other token engineering uh, engineers uh, playing with the dashboard. Uh, promote mo more the laser tag vote. Uh, stability versus features uh, for CCD. One off requests interrupting what contributors have committed to be to in the sprint board. Uh, dashboard broke today for five hours, still active at development. More discussion around treasury management and investment opportunities. Uh, we need an ID system ASAP or we'll have to change our quadratic voting strategy so soon. Need more face time to discuss uh, contentious issues. This call is at the same time as Giveth Games. Giveth and TEC are going to launch about the same time, Facebook. Need help with developing the partnership uh, framework proposed by Gideon Rowe. Thriving complexity. What do we need? to have abundant wages in the TEC. Utilize TEC source more often. Add active documents if you can. I miss Mitch. Don't stay in Barranquilla for too long. Uh, updating the springboard to let everyone in the community know what is happening on each of our work streams and give them the chance to jump in out and help. Uh, hard to vote uh, on Snapshot with no names on the numbers. Uh, compensation is too low in our funding proposals. Getting this feedback from multiple sources now. That's it. <clears throat> cool. Uh, I think we all have a short round, if we can, of feedback on this. Um, so I'll, I'll unmute it one minute. And maybe I'll pass to you, Mitch, to get us started on your thoughts about it. Um, yeah, I just want to say, I think it was mentioned a couple times where it's just like this Dashboard is breaking while we're trying to use it and you know, I made my case in the params call But we need to just like Stop adding features and make it stable so that people can actually use it for what it's supposed to be used for and not break when they need it um, So I think really like honing in our developer resources on that will go a long way in Just the manner that we build our products in the future um, And I'll leave it at that and I'll pass it tonight yeah, thanks, Mitch. Um, I think the two things that stood out for me on this board were um, the Zen Hub. I do think that um, we need to find creative solutions to encourage people to utilize Zen Hub more often. Um, I, I'm and I'm one of those people that's guilty of it. You know, I have to I have to do better. Um, and so, 
I'd like to see that improved. And then uh, I did have a question about the identity aspect. Is this, is this a, I don't know who brought that up, but is this an issue for voting for Snapshot? I know that um, it was mentioned twice, but I'm not sure what that was meant by it. Which identity? Uh, this Snapshot, for identity for Snapshot. Oh yeah, I, I think it like it works for ENS, but if not, the vote is displayed uh, with the address instead of a name. Uh, I don't know mm -hmm. if it's compatible with uh, three uh, box or I'm not sure. Is that something we want to make sure that we identify everybody who's voting and, and have that type of conversation, or is this something like do we want to keep anonymous or? I don't know how big the community feels. I, I personally like having the name up there, but. Can we um, maybe continue and come back to that actually, unless, um, is it urgent? Is it critical for us to discuss it right now? Okay. No. Then maybe we can, co we can come back to that. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, yeah, I added that one. It's just that, um, well, if we don't have any type of identity system after that, we can have uh, CBO attacks for like using, it, it doesn't matter, multiple people can make accounts to buy TEC token and then the quadratic doesn't really matter. And we talked about that briefly already with Griff and Zeptimus and uh, a few other people, but I think it would be great to think of something. And we were thinking of a few solutions in the reward system, but I don't know if that would be integrated with all our voting systems. So maybe looking into that, uh, otherwise we'll have to change uh, like something that we're just getting finished with now. And on that note also been like really hard to talk to the snapshot people, they don't answer. And then the things we're trying to fix, like Pedro is pretty much playing in the dark. And I'll, okay, my time, I'll pass to Chewy. Chewy. Uh, yes, I, I feel that, uh, uh, well, I, I, I added the uh, improved uh, transparency about the uh, TEC uh, relationship with the, the Exide community because uh, there are like these uh, conversations uh, like about a community DAO that I've been uh, part of. Uh, they they uh, uh, started a multisig for some uh, like stuff that Gnosis is going to put in. Uh, and probably like because because they they signed me up for the multi six so probably by now it would be a good idea to involve uh, transparency. It's just uh, something that I wanted to mention before I forgot. Uh, and also uh, Senhub, like uh, uh, I I feel this is an interesting topic. Like, uh, are we going to stick with that for uh, new contributors? And now that uh, working groups like diversify in a way, uh, are we going to stick with uh, just with Senhub or uh, how are we going to integrate this for uh, uh, for general a general organization? And I'll pass it to uh, Septi. Thanks, you. Yeah, I'm. I don't know, I'm concerned, like, how should we fix, like, 6 and 10 are the same? Like, I was very worried, like, copying the same that was in the forum, but, yeah, and the forum is uh, the same. So, yeah, I, like, I'm right now, I'm blocked, like, how to proceed, but maybe Libby or Grief or anyone, if knows some solution for that. Like, I f like, this is affecting the vote, so, I don't know, like, what would be a solution, like, if anyone can jump. How many people voted? Do we take it down and bring it back up? We have four voters so far. So we delete it and we let ask those four voters to re-vote. Okay, I can do that right now. Do you want to... Thanks, Tom. Yeah, pass it to Juan. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I think also that um, it's important to thrive in complexity, and we are in 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 very in interesting waters. 
So yeah, um, we don't have like a, a ball to see the future and we all are putting our best efforts here. So yeah, um, like it's, it's very difficult to have uh, like a right answer from from anyone and like it's it's all in the making and all building and all like sharing and and giving different points of view to try to build um a shared reality so yeah um i think that that would be really good to continue talking about this thing of of, of wages of of treasury management and investment opportunities this all all that is super cool cool can i ask people to start voting with your two stars uh, before Griff goes, or while Griff is going. Yeah, so uh, as far as like stabilizing the params, I, I, I really thought that we could uh, change it so that that we had a better QA process than we than we did. And uh, Nuggin ended up making a uh, backend pull request straight to main that wasn't reviewed. So that was, uh, and that caused a major downage. And that's like uh, totally unacceptable for, uh, in my opinion. And so I think Mitch is really uh, has a really good point about like ending development, but um, but at the same time, uh, it's hard not to want to incorporate feedback and get this thing going better and better. I think I think uh, we should really consider adding a full week to uh, to the pram parties and just then we can just move everything down. I was looking at trying to add two days and then just kind of messes everything up a little bit and puts weird scheduling. On, on some of the other things that we had planned. So, um, yeah, I don't know, but that puts us to deploy around Christmas, which might even deploy, slow things down more. So I don't know. I think there's a lot to discuss around, like, uh, when do we, looking at this calendar and really putting some thought behind extending it. Back to you, Tim. Okay, yeah, thanks. I'm trying to, um turn that over in my head <laughs> too. Okay. Um, and yeah, for me, I guess the, you know, it, it's, it is difficult that we're making so many changes while we're, um, while people are using it actively. And so that's, that's, yeah, I think that's uh, difficult for uh, people to, uh, to participate. And then, yeah, I guess I love your question, uh, Chewy, actually. Do we want to keep using ZenHub board? Like it works, it, maybe it doesn't work for all working groups. Maybe it only works for some working groups. There are some working groups that don't use it. You know, Omega and Labs and, um, you know, Params have their own and Common Swarm have their own. So I think it's important. I think the one thing I would say is, is probably working groups should probably find a way to make sure that the work is transparent and is visible to people in the community. And this seems to be like the best way that we can do it right now. Okay. And then the other thing I, uh, that really stuck with me is, um, you know, there have been a number of comments around people who would like to participate, but the compensation and the funding is um, too low and not, not, uh, not compelling enough. So that's something that is on the back of my mind too. All right, so let's see what we've got. Um, we've got clusters. We have a big cluster. Okay, we have a big cluster around how, what do we need to have to have abundant wages in the TEC? And while we're um, brainstorming on actions to improve, maybe that's something we can um, add some suggestions to. There's also a lot of, at least two stars around more strong params more face time to discuss contentious issues. I would personally love to hear more, uh, some actions that we could do to improve that because uh, time is the, the treasured resource. Um, and so many things that are worked on don't make it to the sprint planning. All right, let's do, um, you know, I'll do four minutes of uh, things we can do to improve. And the timing's starting now.
All right, cool. Let's be honest, I wish this retrospective was like 30 minutes longer. <laughs> I feel like we've, an hour's not quite enough to really pull it all out of us. Uh, Lauren, would you like to read uh, Actions to Improve for Everyone? Oh, the audio is super choppy. Oh. <laughs> and she's gone. <laughs> All right, she's back. Well, a yell is it better? It's better. Okay. Have a list of first buyers. <laughs> Sorry. Have a list of first buyers. Uh, one on one, patch your outreach, get TEs playing with the dashboard, extend param proposal time one more week, brainstorm revenue streams for each working group. Talk about revenue that is not client or supplier based. Reestablish the Zen Hub course for community members. Perhaps look into building an educational team around TEC tooling. How to use Zen Hub guide as part of orientation slash onboarding. Take down Snapchat vote and repost it. Oh wait, it's already happening. Zep, you rock. Make good proposals with lots of money in the common pool. See you swag. Evaluate param proposals and determine how many are acceptable for voting. Funding focus team slash working group. Take down the snapshot vote and put it back up with short names in alphabetical order and on the card. Add a full week to propose and debate section. Final params available on December 20th. Only trusted seed members for quadratic voting. Require that they have C stack tokens. Advocate for one of the leading advocate for one of leading params on the forum or medium. Tweet three of the leading params with brief summary of their differences. Working groups implement revenue strategies. Allow working groups to use their own organizational tools. How to highlight proposals besides debate and few votes on token law. Fork tools so we can tailor them to our needs. Defined and communicated development practices. Clone Mitch so we can have one in every country. <laughs> well, I guess we know which one's winning. <laughs> All right. Uh, we have only have six minutes. So I feel like they're, um, yeah, I guess I want to say, does anyone have any strong feeling about any of these that they want to share while we're doing the voting on them? I, I want to share, or maybe, I want to share yeah, one thing. Uh, yeah, uh, extending one week. I know like, it sounds like super cool, but then we are going to be so close to Christmas than... You know, when you're with family, you, you're talking about family stuff. So, I, yeah, just raising that concern. Can we make a decision on this in five minutes, guys? Because it's sort of the the negatives. The pros is we expect to have more propo more proposals, more and better proposals. The negative is, what if we don't? <laughs> yeah, and. It would so we would have the final results on the twentieth. We could then we would basically be deploying on the twenty second or twenty third, and then so that it's very much Christmas, but it's not it's not it's not quite Christmas. It's the twenty second, twenty third. I yeah. I think we should do it short uh, sooner than later. I'm on the sooner than later team, actually. I feel like that extra week isn't going to produce the results we hope for unless we have like a clear strategy that we know is going to work. And um, yeah. if we have the final proposals on the 20, it's very optimistic to think we'll do the 21st or 22nd, but oftentimes we do face some snag here or there, and we may end up with like a 25th. I mean, it, I almost feel like it's December 13th or January. But it's not December 20th. <laughs> Is there a main downside to doing in January? Like fear of bear market or anything in particular other than that? Just drawing it out too long? We can make it a Christmas present to the community. Params for another month. 
Yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> we heard you like the Rams. <laughs> this is tough. I don't know. I, I think we need to make this decision before a community call tonight. Or maybe not. Maybe it's for the next community call. No, it has to be like, this community call because the vote would end on before the no, on the thirtieth, five days from now. And so, are you, you're looking to deploy like as soon as this is done? I mean, we should have. There's no. There's no like. I mean, we. It should just be plugging numbers into the into the dashboard into the deployment script. It shouldn't. But I mean, like, like for example, like there's parts, big parts of gardens that doesn't even work, you know. So like, we could launch a bonding curve, but like, oh, dial voting doesn't work, you know. Like, are there any other technical limitations, really? Technical limitations. I mean, right now, Bright ID and OneHive are both using gardens. Like, uh, the, it would be like there. It's also in active development, but I don't think it would stop us from launching. We can launch a state. What version. about what about a yeah. UI for the bonding curve? Uh, that's already up. Convert dot Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then any of the contracts around the vesting. That's that's all done. That's that's basic Aragon stuff. The only the only um, I think all the contracts are pretty much done. I mean, Sokai keeps finding little bugs in the bonding curve, so we keep making little fixes. But um, we should be. They're trying to hack on the demo to deploy tomorrow. They're going to have a little hackathon. I'm sorry to interrupt. We're at the top of the hour. I just want to say we should stay and continue this conversation to make a decision. But anyone that needs to jump, can you just throw your votes, your two votes on one sticky note and we can tabulate later? I can say we can reason, like we should probably expect that when we say we're going to launch, it might take three or four more days after that. Just, just by probability, statistically. So if what Griff's saying is if we finish, wrap up the vote on the 20th, and then it happened two days later, and then we factor in another four days for things going to hell in a handbasket. Boxing day? What day is boxing day? It's the 26th. Of, of December. December. So, so launching after Christmas before New Year's? Like that, that would be if we suggested to extend it a week, that's like kind of the range I think that it's going to honestly happen. So then, like Tam was saying, it's either the 13th or January. I think, I think that makes the most sense. I don't think it's a good idea to launch it before, after Christmas and before New Year's. It's right. like way to take all our thunder away and give us no chance. People are on holidays, like vacation with their families. Well, what about like trying to end on the 19th or the 18th or the 17th? Like how many days, what, what, what's the latest date that we can add that where it makes sense? I mean, does that also like cut the launch hype in half? Like if, if we're looking at to have like two or three weeks of buzz, but then we lose half of it from like a communication standpoint where everything just drops off the radar for two weeks, three weeks. So are you just saying, hey, let's push this thing all the way to January and just continue doing like parameters when you, until... When you launch something, generally there's like a buzz that comes afterwards, but then what if like all of that hype from the launch gets cut off by the fact that everybody is on holiday? And then by the time people come back, that they've they've kind of like forgotten about the the TEC launching. Well, does that make sense we, to you? 
can we just pass it around and let give everyone a chance to say something? I think that's probably it. Because cause it's not my call. I mean, maybe I'll I'll just say like I think we need at least another week to get to ease to be more interested in tram parties and you know get some better proposals up there and we're learning so much and honestly that the doing these pram parties and other people's discords has been really really productive for us and even if it's extending it a month i i don't know honestly that doesn't seem so bad to me um but th those are my thoughts i'll pass it to livia i think um i think the one-on-one -on -one parties with tees is a really great idea and I feel like there is a sense of tiring on like the end of December that it's not the best moment to like push forward something. So I agree of having moving it to January and and probably using that hype to continue on the new year. It's like oh, we're launching the TEC. There's this whole year to play with this, and and these are the results that we got from all the things we learned during the param parties and then so much more people are going to be on board and refreshed with with everything and then there's eat denver that happens right after and there's just like more momentum to build on the on the hype so i think yeah just one point that even if we postpone it that we should start doing this one-on-one -on -one parties now as to lauren yeah, I, I think that that's a really, I, I love the idea of like reaching out to people on one-on-one -on -one and just like really encouraging people, encouraging people that we think would make good parameter sets, like in the next few days, like get them to make parameter sets. And um, I don't know if, if it's really the question of whether or not we have to decide like today and right now, I really don't like rushing. So if I was pressed to make a decision and I was God, I would be like, oh, let's push it to January because I don't want to like be pressed to make this decision. But maybe we could also just like encourage more good proposals coming in right now and encourage like really good people uh, coming in, coming into the debates and then see how it is in a couple of days. And then if we need to push it, push it. Because I, I, I think it's, I think it's a really bad idea to make it like December 20th. My birthday is December 21st and nobody cares ever so let's not make the tec's birthday the 21st <laughs> i'll get a, i'll get Where's a pack. cake we'll, we'll always get, get happy te happy birthday and christmas okay except for mitch mitch cares but happy tec made... birthday slash christmas is what we'll get if we make it on december 20th <laughs> <laughs> thanks lauren yeah i don't have like a uh, very strong opinion i really like what Livy, like Lauren and Griff were saying, and I mean, and one of the things like concerns me sometimes, like the bear market. But at the same time, we already have the money baking tie, so maybe shouldn't we fear the bear market at all? Like since we're buying on, on stable coins, and yeah, I mean, I don't have like very strong opinion. So yeah, I'll pass it to Tam. Yeah, I'm really stuck. I'm looking at a calendar and it's like, it's not like we can't like, because those two weeks are sort of dead and should be dead. And even maybe the first week of January should be dead. We're looking, we're looking at like five weeks and it's January 4th, six weeks and it's January 11th and six weeks feels like a lot of time. So yeah, that's, it's really tough. I'm on a fence. Um, but I also think that the 13th is really the latest, that week is the latest we can deploy. And if there's any, if we're gonna miss it, or we're going to deploy, um, I don't know. I guess what, what the, it comes down to is evaluating our, like, is it, do we think that we're gonna have a proposal, we're gonna have a winning proposal that's so bad that it's going to hurt the TEC or, do we feel like we want, we will not have enough engagement and that will somehow make it feel less um, community built? If we have sufficient engagement and we have good proposals, I say we push, we keep to the schedule, we keep going. But those are the two risks that I think would be, would merit a six week delay. 
And I'll pass to uh, Shui. Um, I, I uh, feel that maybe like I don't know enough about the, the market uh, to know uh, what the reaction uh, would be. So uh, I feel a little bit like, like Lauren and uh, like Septi that uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's maybe going to make uh, uh, some people nervous, uh, but I do feel that uh, maybe pushing uh, uh, to January could be uh, uh, the best option. Uh, I mean, if it if it could happen uh, before, it would be great, but uh, that doesn't really happen a lot. Uh, and and yeah, I feel I, I feel safe that like the thing that is gonna kickstart all of this is in a stable coin. So yeah, I echo Septi with that. Uh, I'll pass it uh, back to you, Tam. Uh, who hasn't gone? Uh, Wonka, have you gone? Yeah. Um... I also think like when we um, start a new year, we all start with like fresh energies and like with a lot of motivation and like, so I, uh, so I think that this common upgrade that is a, a big change can also um, profit from that new energy coming from uh, the new year and like com coming with people fresh and um yeah starting with the with with a lot of energy the 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 common subgrade but yeah it will be a six week delay so i i think that it all depends on on how we feel in the proposals nate have you had a chance to voice thoughts um, not yet. Um, I mean, looking at the token log and seeing kind of, you know, I, I don't see any type of consensus around any any certain proposal or uh, even the beginnings of, of type of um, agreement on what type of proposal is going to be submitted. I think that if we have questions around uh, the implementation or hesitations about the implementation of it, whether the tech is ready or not yet, then I think we should definitely deal play and pause a little bit. Um, January is not the worst thing that could happen. I mean, we've been doing it. We've extended the, the, the launch for as long as we have now, and we, it's paid off, OK? I mean, like, we've, <laughs> we, let's, just, let's just make sure it, we, it, we, we do it right, and it's, it's, it's done to the best of our ability and get it done. Um, but you know we're we're close to the finish line, and I just don't want people to just get fatigued and just say let's throw in the towel real quick because you know we're just we we don't we just want to get it over with. Like I, th I think we've been doing it the right way this entire time, and um, let's just make sure that we get everything done in, in the, the the appropriate fashion. And make sure all the participants are are there. I think we need to do better hatcher outreach on this. Um, I can't guarantee that the the, the hatchers that that have been are are. On just the uh, sorry, you're done, right, Nate? Oh no, maybe your mic's just not working. Are you there, Nate? No, nope, I expect you. Okay. Oh yeah, did that, did I cut off? Yeah, you cut off. Okay. Well, I I hope you got the gist of it, but. Did did everyone go, Tam? Lydia. Okay. okay. So I see you wrote these three questions. I think the tech is ready, as ready as it's going to be. There's nothing that I don't think the tech is a reason to delay. Uh, I I don't think that the proposals matter all that much. <laughs> Um, sad enough as that is, uh, I'm sure the best one is good enough. Um, I don't think we've had enough time to really debate the strategy uh, together, but I, it really doesn't matter. We'll, we'll make anything work. But I do think that the community engagement from, like, we get a lot of community engagement from new people, but we're not getting community engagement from our top token holders. You know, and and that's that's a little scary to me. 
do we think in these next six weeks we will change that? I think I I would think so. Yeah. I think we could get each anyone who put in, you know, like you know, six like five. You know, if you put in twenty thousand dollars, forty thousand dollars into this thing, I think we could get you to come to a, a personalized pram party, a pram party for you scheduled on your time. You know, uh, two of them, and like have a one-on-one -on -one or whatever. Like we could get, we could get some engagement. What about we do that for the runoff vote? Do we want them? Because we're we're basically asking for attention, right? And attention has a cost. And if we're asking for a few hours of attention to be able to grok it and understand it, we could, you know, we could look at the week of December seventh to thirteenth during the runoff vote is like that's the time where they can just choose one of three. <laughs> You know, the, we're not asking we're not asking for the people that have the least time and attention to devote to then take the time to configure their proposal, which my experience is your first proposal you feel really unsure about because there's so many factors to consider and there's so many things that you feel like you don't really know because you're not deep in the community. So I feel like engaging for the voting for the final will be we're asking for less attention from the people who have the least attention to give. And I, I, would, I would consider we make a push there. So you put these post-its up because you want us to vote on them? Well, actually, that was your idea, Tam. I just wrote them. Um, but you were like, you were saying, "Hey, put your stars on something so you can get your vote." But I guess you were talking about actual <laughs> retrospective and not the. But not let's. Sh shall we have at it and make a decision now? Do we want, or do we want to say, "Hey, let's let's think about it and come to let's." We we don't have to make the decision tonight. We can make the decision. Well, I, I mean, we have to. We can't, if we don't make the decision today before the community call, then the vote, we end submissions on Tuesday. So. I, I don't think we have quorum. Like, I don't think we could do it like within this call, but we could do it before the community call. We have nine people. We're at 15 now, 14. Stewart's 12. Yeah. Oh, okay. Anyway, I would just throw I would just throw it in Discord rather than doing it on the mural board. So that it gets better visibility. And everyone that's in this call right now can also vote. Yeah, I, I love I agree with that, but then the only thing is explaining the conversation we all just had and the pros and cons and the but you know, like it's that's that's the thing that takes time. Because if we drop it in the form without that context, it doesn't look it's hard to understand everything that was just spoken about. Okay, well then you're gonna make the decision now and then have to explain it to the people who were involved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, at least we'll see if it's a landslide for one thing or another, you know. Um, should we do rank choice quadratic voting? <laughs> <laughs> Give everyone three stars and let them put, uh, put one on their first choice and or two on their first choice and one on their second kind of a thing. Can we read that? Sure. So everyone gets one vote. Yeah. All right. I guess we vote. Oh, my... Stars are going behind. Sorry about that.
All right. Well, it looks like people feel like it is Jan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Looks like it's Jan. We're pushing it till January. Yeah, I'll move on. I definitely would rather delay till January than keep our launch plan. Okay. It's good. Cool. Then I think we do that. Cool. And I don't, think we have to, I don't think we have to set the exact dates. We can look at Christmas and stuff and figure out where exactly do we have the, you know, maybe we end the, the voting and the, for the runoffs before Christmas or the end and the proposing before Christmas and then like have that Christmas time to do the voter pamphlets stuff. And then we do the runoff okay. after Christmas. Cool. So let's close actually. Anyone want to share any thoughts uh, before we jump off this call and prepare our slides for the community call? Uh, I'll pass to you, Livia. Oh, I don't, I don't have nothing to say. Just that we should jump into the params with Nagin. Are we passing around? Is that it? I'll pass to Mitch. Oof, I think we've opened up a can of worms by delaying it six weeks because there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be like WTF. Um, but anyway, so be it. Um, Apart from that, I'm like Griff said, I'm super stoked because I think there's going to be a lot of ideas that are going to come out of this. And he is right. There's a really great opportunity to show the TEC by doing all of this external networking um, using the dashboard. So given that, I'm really excited to see uh, what's going to come out of the woodwork just from promoting it a bit longer. And I'll pass it to Zepti. Thanks, Mitch. Yeah, my, my, I think, like, as most as you, like, I was trying to, by voters, for keep, uh, uh, keep, keep the plan, but I also agree, like, all this, you know, like, it's, I see, you know, it's, I, there is a lot of opportunity delaying it, and if we can get all this engagement, especially from Hatches, I think that that's going to be very uh, beneficial for us. So, yeah, uh, I'll pass it to Juan. <laughs> Um, the, there is something that, that I questioned myself um, this week and was why every time that I was in a comfort zone, I always wanted to, to go out of that comfort zone. And um, like, I feel that right now we are in a comfort zone and that it, jumping to the common subgrade may be a little bit scary, but... Uh, also jumping without um feeling very confident um would be um a little bit um like um rushed so so yeah i think that that it's not bad if we if we um um delay um it's just time we and time goes really fast so i don't know <laughs> And I'll pass to Lauren. Yeah, I think that, well, cool. Okay, it's cool. We're going to have six more weeks. But I think we should organize now and do a lot of like really this push to outreach and just like now, even though six weeks feels like it could be a lot, a long time, like we could get really organized right now to be like pulling in smart, active people and they still have a little bit of time to even like learn about the dashboard and like make good proposals. So it's like, we have a lot of untapped potential if we jump on it quickly right now. So I think like organizing like some of our comms and param party leads and just like doing that push is like a really good next step. And I didn't vote actually. I just watched everyone vote because I couldn't decide. So I'm, I'm glad that I'm glad I didn't because I really feel super torn on whether or not it's a good idea, but <laughs> um, I'll pass it to um, uh, Nate. Wait, yeah. if you didn't vote, there are nine I, votes. That was me. I, I put you one on the middle. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 didn't pulled, I tried to pull it back the last time. Graduated second. sanctions! <laughs> I know. Um, Wait, so which one is it? So which one? So what is it? Is it a tie? Come on, Nate. Hold on. It we just might be a tie. I, I voted. Yeah. I voted the delay 
January, and then I p pulled this one back. But I just so there's got one, two, like, three, four, five, six, seven. There's nine stars on the board, and I, am I counting wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six. And there's nine people in this room. So some. What is, what is the? Why are, why are nine? Why are why are nine people deciding you know, to the, delay the whole thing six weeks? The, like the, there, there was a I, I there might have been an extra one on keep launch plan because I. Uh, th the stars were behind it, and then I just moved it to back, and there were like a, a star just appeared that was behind it. Okay, keep keep launch plan. Raise your hand. Sorry, keep launch plan. Okay, so we're good. Okay. Okay, so I mean, I know this is a contentious thing, but uh, I'm kind of with Lauren. Just like let's make this into a positive and make sure that we're. Outreaching to the hatchers, making sure they're on board because I would hate to see some crappy proposal get voted in and then hatchers rage quit because it's just not a good system for them to keep their money in. But I, you know, I let's just turn it into a positive organizer comps teams and move forward. And I will pass it over to Chewy, I guess. Um, I really, really wanted to vote for keeping the launch plan. Uh, I agree with Mitch. It's just going to bring like a nightmare of trouble, especially trying to like keep comps contributors engaged. Uh, that was like the thing that I was trying to avoid the most, but it needs to be right. We just have like a one chance to do it right. And, and, uh, yeah, like as 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 much as I uh, hate uh, voting for uh, delaying the six week, uh, I feel that it's just uh, unnecessary. Uh, I'll pass it. I think I was the last one. Almost. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, yeah. uh, so yeah, yeah. that's why I'm avoiding uh, voting. But but yeah, like six weeks. Yeah. Look, I think that um, I think that we're ready to go. And I think that we should have gone. But look at this room. Look at the people in this room. It almost doesn't matter which decision we choose. We are going to make it work. We're going to make the best of it. And we're going to like, we're going to take advantage of whichever decision we made. So for me, okay, we we have six weeks of, of cool new things that we can do to promote our dashboard, to promote the TPC even though I really want us to just go with the deadline. I'm very excited to have six more weeks to do more fun stuff. <laughs> cool. So thanks everyone. Thanks. Thanks everyone.